For over 20 years, a joint Indonesian and international team of archaeologists has been excavating these caves. They had been searching for evidence of the spread of Homo sapiens through the islands. Instead, they found something completely unexpected. A strange skeleton from at least 70,000 years ago, so long before our species reached this far from Africa. I think the first thing, obviously, that strikes you when you see her is that she's very short. Yeah, yeah, very short. Um, what are we talking, one meter? Yeah, uh, the skeleton is about a meter and six centimeters tall. Right, so about three and a yeah. half feet. Yeah. All of our team, when saw this for the first time, uh, we thought there is a belong to a child. But then, after we able to, to clean up all the dirt, you, you can see all the, the, the molars already erupted. It's got yes, wisdom it, teeth. <laughs> yes, yes, there is already permanent teeth. Yeah, I mean, the molars are, the adult molars are there. Yeah, it's already there, three yeah, of them, yeah. yeah. As soon as you look closely, this is 100% an adult. Yeah, yeah. An adult, but the size of a child. And that was only the first surprise. The legs, they're quite short. Yeah, the, the, the leg is uh, only slightly longer than, than their, their arms here. Whereas with us... Yeah, with us it's different. Our legs are really long, really long yeah. compared, compared to our arms. Compared to upper limb, I think. Yeah. And also, if you have a look on the feet, yeah, yeah the feet is about 70% of the length of the femur. Which is it's huge, huge yes. because on me that would be yeah. <laughs> yeah. about that length. Yeah, it's true. Because so many unique features not seen in other species, we place this skeleton as a new species, and we named the skeleton uh, Homo floresiensis. I mean, this is one of those moments in the history of the field where I just wish I had been there. I know she's a replica, but she's yep. a replica of the real thing. Yep. And yeah, it's, um, it's giving me goosebumps. This new species of human was a revelation. Named Homo floresiensis after the island, they quickly became known to many as the hobbits, after the heroes from Lord of the Rings, who were also small as adults. It's likely they arrived entirely by chance. Perhaps a few individuals swept here on driftwood from the islands to the north. More than 700,000 years ago, 